Hello. Welcome to another episode. This is Halfbreed, and today I'll be looking at Dark Souls Remastered. This will be a bit of a tester, because as you can probably hear, I have got a new mic. And on top of this, I don't know if anyone's still interested in Dark Souls and seeing how people play it. But I thought, I've played the first, second and third before. I've never done the DLC to the second, but before the remaster itself came out, I played a lot of the original Dark Souls and not so much of the third, but I did play the third to the end, as it were. So this is my potentially testing the water of this. If people want to see more, like and subscribe. If you don't want to see more, then obviously if you enjoyed it, you know, leave, leave a like, but then maybe comment some other suggestions you would like to see. Um, there has been a bit of a big pause in recent uploads, not that I've been the most consistent, I will say, is I'm still doing life bits here and there, just some IRL bits, which have obviously got to take priority. But I have still been about, so if you haven't checked before, check out Wolfbane Gaming. I've um, been on his channel a couple times whenever I've had a f free moment to uh, collab with him. He does some things like Apex and reviews, so if you're interested in that kind of stuff, I recommend you go and check him out. Um, otherwise, let's get to this. So we will be going with New Game. <laughs> As naturally expected, I will be going with my name that happens to YouTube. Class wise, Let me think on it for a moment. Right. Hello. Um, I've decided to go with Thief because I like crits. So, got my little dagger. The old witch's ring, I have no clue how to find that, in all honesty. And, not that you can see, but I've got a nice swept in purple hair. Let us commence the souls. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity. Heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then from the dark they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the lord of sunlight and his faithful knights. And the furtive pygmy. So easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Gwyn's mighty bolts 
ruled apart their stone scales. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. And Seath the scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. Soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen Carriers of the accursed dark side. Well, that's a bit of an intro. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. This is your fate. Um, for those who might not be aware as well, it's probably worth mentioning that there currently is no online, so even if I wanted to participate in that, I cannot. So there won't be any player on player invasions during this playthrough. And to be fair, even if there was, I'm not one to play PvP despite some evidence that now may exist. So I would continue to play this as an offline experience in the future, providing this well did get enough you know, support from us to continue. Um, I, pick, I like this shield. Make powering easier. An old witch ring with no no use. Old ring from an old witch engraved minutely with indescribable script. 
but seemingly useless. Critical 147. There you go. You now know the value of crit I'm using. Also, for those where I starting with Thief gives you Master Key by default. But I will not be using it to go different routes necessarily. I'll be opening stuff up, but I won't be going oh, you. the speed run route, so to speak. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Sure, you're doing me no wrong. Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask, an undead favorite. Thank you. Oh, and this. Thank you again. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death, and thank you. Okay. shields that just uh, flip the wrist, so that's pretty neat. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. Leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Lordran. Nice.
Hello, sir. Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below, in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both, and something happened. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on, but I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead? <laughs> oh, did you call me out for it? Yes, that is exactly what I came for. Is to uh, ring bells and kill bosses. And I'm all out of bosses right a second. So, bells it is. Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Have you business with us? If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. Okay. Hello there. I realize that I have requested that we retain our distance. But I also want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. Here, take this as a token of peace. No, go ahead. It's for you. Oh my, you again. Oh, I know. How about this? I have to await my companions here anyway. So what if I were to teach you some miracles? Would that please you? Very well. Then first, a covenant with the gods. Now, let me share my miracles. Only, their ultimate effectiveness will be determined by your efforts and your faith. Okay, got a few good ones here. Come again. The effectiveness of... Let's see. Um...
what I might do for this build is I might mix some pyromancers into it as well. Not necessarily for uh, throwing fire about, but maybe just, uh, some of a few techniques here now, like throwing on it, since I'm using a uh, knife and underhand -hand techniques, so to speak. Might just add to the aesthetic of my own personal preference. Getting places. I only just defeated one of your friends right in front of your eyes. See? Don't worry about. Quick. And painless. Well now, you seem to have your wits about you, hmm? Then you are a welcome customer. I trade for souls. Everything's for sale. <laughs> Okie dokie. Mine has better crit than that though, so I'll be keeping what I've got. Because you wouldn't really need it, 
well, you've got the mask key, but you will need this item. Thank you, kind. If I remember where, I will point it out, but otherwise, it is genuinely an item you're meant to get, so I'm getting out of habit. I don't need to get it as a thief, you can ignore that, but I feel like doing so. Who's next? Curious. Uh, nothing important over there anyway. If you get over there, it's just some uh, crossbow and a couple of bolts. I don't plan to use a crossbow, so I won't uh, attempt to go back over there again. I have broke machines enough. I think that's enough. Uh, enough for myself. Door here would be a resident spot, so a resident key would be used. Yep. I'd like to gain command from one kills. That's nice. as well. Long sword, hollow soldiers, armor times two. 
Alright. And this is where I gamble. Hello, friend. How you doing? I'm just fine, hey. Pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. Now, now, don't need to get all defensive. It's just a little me, see? Come on, here we go again. And that's our prize. A chunk. I lost the gamble. It's fine. Right, this door here is one you can open with a mask key. I will not be opening it. I say the main reason I picked this class was just for the grip, rather than the actual mask key. Come back here. Thank you. If any of you find me weird for that, because you know I could have taken Sorcerer, just have a dagger. That's fine. Everyone's entitled to their opinions and usage. I myself want to do a build I've never actually won with before. Because usually I do uh, try with a mix of heavy weaponry, such as a great sword or old great sword, should I say. Uh, or I've been work. Last time I've been playing, I've been doing a pyromancy cleric. But I've never actually won using daggers and or bows yet. I might include a bow later on, but for now I'm primarily going to go with dagger and or um, statuses. So I was looking for poison or pyromancy kind of mentioned briefly earlier. partner. So, uh, naturally gonna give him a bow. And back. Hey, buddy. Well, everyone gets to there. Hey, Sunbro. Ah, hello. You don't look hollow. Far from it. I am Soler of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. You find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> Oh, aha. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? This pleases me greatly. We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers, 
and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this, but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there, so they like, very clever. Unfortunately, I am very blind. But alas, if I can see a sign, I will cooperate and have some jolly help. Hey dragon, how you doing? I'll be with you in just a moment. Come on. I do not plan to fight you, dragon. You can come down to me. I am not playing your game. You can come here. Come on. Oh dear. That might cost me. Then. Thank you for being my partner in crime. Very polite of you for letting me uh, have my moment. See, politeness goes a long way. Even with NBCs, I have no sense of politeness whatsoever. It still seems to work. Once again. Oh. No way, this gamma's off to a terrible start. seems. So let us try again, shall we? Preferably less with the die and more of the win. So I'm going to wait for you to come up here. Uh, 
chances. This ladder connects to down below the bridge, which is the alternative route you could have taken if you didn't brave the red kite. Almost there. Why are you on the ladder?
He's admiring a good view. Gotta give you credit for that. Alas. I must send you off with this image in your mind. Incredible view. Hello. How you doing? Appreciate that. There we are. That's a bit better. Howdy. Well, if you're not going to pay attention to me, I'll send you off in a quick fact. And that's one of the more important keys I need. I don't trust their bot bots sometimes. Oh, well. in that church in human fine. Sacred grounds, they say. But I appreciate the shard. It's gonna come in handy. Okay. Blow for blow. I will greet this trade. And that's another humanity in my pocket. I am Ziegmeier of Katarina. Quite honestly, I've run flat up against a wall. Or a gate, I should say. The thing just won't budge. No matter how long I wait. And oh, have I waited. So, here I sit, in quite a pickle, weighing my options, so to speak. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll leave you to it, Mr. Uh, Mr. Katarina. Neither of a 
this one. And this is why I held on to these. do is I'll go and show you where this um, basement key goes and why I said it's important to my build. So we will head this way. I also re release him off here actually.
another humanity to my collection. Hello, friend. Oh, still human, are you? Then I am in luck. Could you help me? As you can see, I am stuck without recourse. Thank you. Yes, sincerely. I am Knight Lautrec of Karim. I truly appreciate this. And I guarantee a reward. Only later. Oh, well, I'll even be for now. I repeat, for now. For those aware, there is a reason we deal with him. For those unaware, I will explain in due course once I get my reward. I always have to take a trip down the lift. I keep salt to upgrade my health, uh, restoration item, so I heal more per use. Back in just a moment. Alrighty, as promised, we will now deal with him as just his reward. The reason being is he can be a bit of a handful later if you leave him, and I don't wish for him to deal trouble for my, uh, NPC here. In fact, you know what? No. I will take the punishment to demonstrate what happens if you leave him for those watching. Since story wise, he gives her trouble, but I won't explain how or why. Just know she will have some trouble due to him. And I will instead show you a quick. And easy to get Firekeeper Soul for those who just start start their characters if they aren't already aware. Because you can get this one essentially as soon as you leave the asylum. So you just uh, pop away down here. If you've got a light weapon like me, then uh. This area is a bit more of a troublesome. If you've got a heavy weapon, it's a bit more easy to get through. Now, when it comes to doing this, you really, until you go to a certain shopkeeper, only get two shots of this early on if you want to have an offensive way of handling things or even just a bit more resistance to the problem so 
what we'll do is we'll head over here. And before you engage, the Hansian curse. Now, I have fully upgraded my weapons, it's a bit easier. Well, fully upgraded for early games, like right? plus five. But usually that would be a lot less damage, so it would take you a lot longer to deal with them individually. you don't fall. This is an instant death fall. You can uh, grab another soul here. And then personally, because I am not a fan of walking across that rugged bridge, I just return. Plus two SS flask to end this episode on. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, remember to like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions, comment it below. Otherwise, hope you enjoyed. And of course, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>